Hey guys, welcome to the next competition analysis. Um, just quickly, if you like uh, the stuff that I'm doing on YouTube, on Facebook, or on Instagram, don't forget just to subscribe, follow, whatever you need to do. Um, we're going to look at this competition, not a long match, okay, but we're going to be focusing on the player in the white. Um, things to remember when you're doing competitions, there's a few things that will really help you. Um, the first thing is are they right or left handed that's so important to know which way they want to turn because it gives you so much information now normally we would be looking at their judo stance so here we're in in a right stance in this position fairly square in this one um but that doesn't necessarily tell us whether they're right or left handed because they could be gripping right to turn left gripping left to turn right so that that's one of the tricky things at this level if you don't have any previous information uh, here so we've quite clearly got blue let's just take that back a second that was me being rubbish um, blue coming out and left hand on okay left hand on lapel but this is quite important. They're not try uh, sorry, right hand on lapel. Their left hand isn't trying to control the sleeve. Now, if they're not trying to control the sleeve, there's a reason for that, and that's because they want to turn under. Okay, a right hander will go right hand on lapel, left hand on sleeve. But the gripping pattern for that is left hand first, then right hand. Okay, so the fact that she's gripping right hand on the lapel first and not trying to grab. The, with her left hand gives us a really big indication that actually what they want to do is turn in left-handed okay now if we know that we know what to do so if we come back here as soon as this person posts their right hand on the lapel and we know they're not trying to pin our sleeve our right hand must go on their lapel okay by grabbing their lapel what that do is stop them rotating their shoulders through for their drop technique so you're basically just posting your hand up to control that space and if you're right-handed that's perfect because you can grab their their sleeve on the other side so there now because we've not got it they're able to turn so see here we're we're grabbing the sleeve but that's no good because that's not good. That will stop her from turning for now. But if she manages to break that free, she's able to turn whenever she wants. Whereas if the hand is on the lapel up here, they're not able to turn. It's that simple. So there. And then that's where we go. And you can see from that point, let's just take it back two seconds. There. So pause. You're trying to go around the waist, trying to go on. And actually, you just step on. To the the technique here okay so let's just go one two boom there that's all they're trying to do they're trying to keep this arm away this shoulder away which allows them to turn right under there and as you go over the top there's the first score now good job there to to stop the um the ip on and good job of yeah escaping the hold down Okay, so now our focus when it comes to standing is hands-on. Where's our structure? Where's our, where's our stance? And what you'll find when we're watching um, this level of competition is very similar mistakes happen across every match. It's not, there's nothing special to it. We just need to know what we're looking for. Okay, so here we go again. Hands up. See there, just in that instance, you manage to get your hand on there and the first thing that happens is they try and get this hand off okay because when you can control this side they can't rotate their shoulders and that's the key there's so the hands off we turn okay now 
using the area is something that's not used that much anymore. Um, I think using the area is a really important skill, building up. Um, and it's not because you want to res you don't want to get the other person penalised. What you want is to create reactions. And the area is really important because if they step out, they do get a penalty. But if they don't, they push back and that's where your reactions come from. So it's a tool within judo. And there. And that just comes from the same thing of not getting your, your hand on the lapel to stop the turn. So as we come in here, I'll pause it before we go. So there, and what this hand goes behind again, which just allows this person to turn right free. There, and that's it. Okay, so my main takeaways from that is you need to know as soon as possible whether they're right or left-handed. Okay, even though they were gripping with their right hand on the lapel, they were clearly not trying to pin your sleeve, which means if they're not pinning your sleeve, they want to turn the other way. So if they want to turn the other way, we need to control the shoulder. And the quicker you can get your hands on to block, the more chance you've got of staying in the fight. Okay? All right, brilliant. Thanks for that. Good luck.